Hey everyone, Budget Nerd here. TP-Link reached out again and asked if I would check out their AX3600 access point. Since I'm a giant network nerd, I said yes, and here it is. Let's run it through its paces. This is TP-Link's AX3600 access point, model number EAP660. It's Wi-Fi 6 access point. TP-Link wishes to rip $180 out of your bank account should you choose to get one. It claims to have pretty good speed, works well in high-density scenarios, supports Omada, TP-Link's centralized cloud management. It also has a 2.5 gigabit per second Ethernet port to get the most out of that claimed Wi-Fi 6 speed, and claims to facilitate seamless roaming between other similar access points. Wi-Fi 6 offers some advantages over Wi-Fi 5, and their Omada Cloud solution for scalable networking and remote management is a cool feature, if you could benefit from it. The access point isn't anything special in the visual department, and it's fairly large. For a business, it's not a big deal, but if I were to put this up on my ceiling in my house, it probably wouldn't pass the wife test. You also get a mounting plate, which makes mounting easy, some screws, anchors, and washers, and lastly the power adapter that I won't use because I have a PoE switch, because again, I'm a nerd. Let's hook it up here, where I always hook these things up, because it's easier and it keeps things consistent for testing. A few changes in the network closet. And we are set. I headed over to 192.168.1.100 to set it up, and it was pretty easy. In the settings, you can check the typical stuff like radio info, connected devices and their statuses, configure the wireless options, enable load balancing, control airtime, set up a wireless portal, set up Mac filtering, configure QoS, view logs, set up management access, set up SSH, set up their cloud-based management, and other basics. Nothing out of this world, with the exception of the remote management, but it has everything you'd need. Internet speed tests fared very well, netting me the fastest speed I've ever seen in an internet speed test. I don't think it's totally because of this access point, but it may be helping. I did the same local network speed test I usually do, where I transfer a large file from one PC to another. Sitting in the normal place I do this transfer, the speed hovered around 60 megabytes per second, which isn't the fastest I've seen, but it's pretty good for Wi-Fi. Then I did a speed test right next to the access point and saw speeds up to 84 megabytes per second, which is great for Wi-Fi. My laptop only connected at 866.7 megabits per second on 5 gigahertz, but if you have a laptop that supports fast Wi-Fi, I must not. And if you have a 2.5 gigabit per second switch, like TP-Link's newer switch I reviewed a while back, you should see much more impressive speeds. I only have one device with a 2.5 gigabit per second network card, so I didn't really see a difference. Signal range and strength were pretty good, covering most of the first floor with an average decibel rating of negative 51, while my go-to router, the TP-Link AX21, was negative 43. Lower is better. The AX3600, this access point, outperformed the AX21 in link speed, with a 626 megabit per second speed, while the AX21 only managed 523. On the second floor, the AX21 gets a respectable negative 53, while the AX3600 gets a negative 56. However, the link speed's win clearly goes to the AX3600, 569 megabits per second, while the AX21 can only manage 374. The signal strength seems a bit lower, but it hits good numbers where it counts. From my experience, it's hard to go wrong with TP-Link. We had no issues with it, but where does this access point fit in? As far as speed and coverage go, it's pretty good. If you need to add coverage, it's a great option. 
If you have a pretty good Wi-Fi 6 router or access point already, then it may not be needed. A lot of its features go to waste in a house, but in a business, it would really shine. Seamless roaming between several of these access points in a larger building. Being able to manage these and TP-Link's other Omada products is a huge plus. This AP does seem to be more comfortable in a business, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's possible these are meant for that, and they would be a great option. It just has a bigger footprint than I would like in my house. Well, there you have it. Link below if you want to snatch one up, and thanks for watching.